Welcome to SK Tech. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a Windows 10 bootable USB drive. Alright, now let's get into the video. The very first step is we have to download the Windows 10 ISO image file. I have already downloaded the Windows 10 ISO image files. Also, I have put the link to download the Windows 10 image in the description box. If you don't have the Windows 10 image, you can go through the link and download it. So also we will be needing another so application called Rufus. Rufus is an open source software and it's free to download. So you will have to visit uh, rufus.ie, it is the official site. And then download the latest version what is currently available. Okay, once Rufus is downloaded, just right click and open. So it will be something like this. In here, the first option is device. Once the USB drive is connected, it will get automatically detected. So since we are using Windows 10, the recommended capacity of the USB drive should be at least 8 GB. Okay. And the second option where you have to locate the Windows 10 ISO image file. And then in this third option, image option. Image option should be always standard Windows installation as default. And then partition scheme so here I have selected GPT so if you want to know the partition scheme of your existing hard drive you can just go to start menu and then type drive manager and click on create and format hard disk partitions In here you can see I have two storage devices. The second one is the USB drive where I'm going to install the Windows 10 bootable image. This is my existing hard drive. So this is where I'm planning to install Windows 10 with the bootable USB drive. So click on properties and then go to volumes. And then in the partition style you can find out the partition scheme so here it is on GPT format then you have to select the GPT in the partition scheme option of the Rufus Rufus this is the volume label here you have to enter the name for the pen drive so I'm just giving as uh, Windows 10 and then click on start please note that all your data will be deleted from the pen drive therefore please make sure that you have backed up your pen drive
okay guys this is almost done only few seconds are remaining let's wait all right it is 100 percentage completed so now what you can do is you can just safely remove the pen drive yes now you can use the pen drive to install the windows operating system